Hi guys. Now the reason you're here obviously is because you're interested in the Hensolite XG. Now the XG here in Victoria is one of the biggest sellers in Australia. Um, look, I don't know what market share stats are, but I just know through the shop and through you know a bit of word of mouth and just seeing what's going on, the XG seems to be really popular for greens that are a little bit slower, for uh, for greens that are uh, that are carpet synthetic and uh, and grass that are running about the 14, 15 second mark. Now every bowl has its purpose. Um, I think that this bowl really fits well into the market uh, on the slower green, so Tasmania, uh, Victoria, um, and maybe the bottom of New South Wales, but on the really quick stuff, they are going to turn a lot, um, obviously because it's got more of a bias. Anyway, Henslide itself, quality manufacturer, been around for 100 odd years. They're Australian made here in Melbourne in Darabin, very high quality product. Every set I've seen is really nice uh, craftsmanship, etc., etc. And there's some beautiful cutlets. And if you uh, if you actually have a look at the uh, the site, you can flick side to side, and you can see the different colours. Uh, you can get them in gripped, non-gripped, and and the grip themselves is actually is quite deep, and you can really hold the bowl nice. So anyway, I'll uh, cut things a little bit short. We'll whack a bowl down the ramp so you can have a look at it flying, and obviously you can make the decision for yourself. So. Okay, so what what I thought we'd do is um. Got a brand new set of uh, XGs here. They are uh, the Blizzard Slice. This uh, Stam 23. They're three heavies. They're, they're made of melamine, so they're quite heavy. In case you don't know, every bowl on the market now, for the last two or three years, is made of melamine. It's a heavier powder. It's heavier than Bakelite, so you can use a smaller bowl and it fits really nice in your hand, but it's heavier, so it's going to hold its line better. So those of you that are using old bowls, if you're using a say a five or a four or a three or a two, you can actually drop down a size and the weight's very similar. So if you're using a four, you can go to a three, you can get that bit more control and really start to whack your line and get it real good. Um, I just dropped back from a, a four to a three the last six months, never played better. Because it just feels that bit nicer in the hand, a little bit smaller, it's all about control. So anyway, we'll whack a bowl down the ramp. So I thought, what we'll do to start with, is I'll compare it to an old Dreamline. Old Dreamline, Used to go straight, three quarters way down, it would then break and whip into the head. But the only problem with that was, if there was a crosswind or there's a little bit of inconsistency in the grain, the bowl would start to move around and could get caught and go out of bounds. But the new XG starts to turn early, starts to turn into the wind and you know what you're gonna get. It's turning all the way through the arc. So anyway, so let's have a look. This is an old, uh, old Dreamline, stamped 7A. Let's have a look. So there, there's not a not a huge difference. It's just more the actual uh, the arc itself is different. The the XG is turning earlier, uh, whereas the old Dreamline would sort of go out straighter and then hook. But at the end of the day, they're finishing in a roughly the same spot. They just they just get there in a different manner. So let's have a look at the XG. And the XG is melamine, whereas the uh, the old Dreamline's bake a lot. So it's really starting to sort of turn early, as you can see. They'll probably finish in a similar sort of area, but the arc itself is different. It's much nicer, actually. It's, it's really predictable. Okay. So like I said, they're finishing the same spot. It's, it's just more consistent because it's turning earlier and it's just got a gradual, consistent turn. And when you play up shots and drive, you know what the ball's going to do. It's going to be just consistently turning up to trail the jack to land the ball. It's just it's much easier, you know what I mean? So then what we'll do is we'll just compare that a bit to a um, ABT 2000, um, and I reckon uh, that'll give you a really good idea as to what the XG is about. Okay, so the 2000 is just turning that bit more. And actually, to finish this off, I just want to show you a narrow bowl. Uh, so here's a narrow Turbo Pro. All right? I just want to show you the difference. I just sort of want you to understand that the XG is in a narrow bowl. Like in Victoria and uh, in Tasmania, and uh, on greens that are a bit slower, you're way better off with something that turns. Otherwise, you're just going to get caught in those tracks and it's just going to go everywhere. So anyway, that gives you a good idea. The XG, magnificent bowl, has a nice medium bias. Probably just on the scale of turning, you know, a little bit outside the nice medium bias. But like I said, in Victoria and uh, in Tasmania, on slower greens, fantastic. 
So if you like this product, uh, you can order it here at Mega Bowls. We'll beat any price in the country. We've got a guarantee with that. Uh, you can jump on the chat below and you can talk to a customer representative right now and uh, we can take you through the process. And if you have trouble with the site, call the number above and we'll process the order for you manually because Mega Bowls is about better service, better pricing, and at the end of the day, we just want you to be happy and enjoy your bowls. So I'm Nev Rodder. Thanks and enjoy your bowls.